everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today I have a unboxing for you guys. Uh, and this is going to be from Paint Gem. Uh, so, uh, we are gonna go ahead and break into the box. We have two kits for you guys. Let's get backwards there. And these are two of their, uh, well, the two new releases from August. And I'm going to go ahead and break into them and show you guys what these uh, super cute uh, kits look like. And I also have a little bit of a special announcement for you guys. So I am also now a uh, affiliate for Paint Gem. So I did purchase these two kits with my own money, but I am also now a, a Paint Gem affiliate. So if you are interested in, and it's not necessary, not required or anything like that, but if you are uh, interested in using my affiliate code, which uh, will be down in the, which you will see down in the bottom of the video, but then also uh, will be in my description um, below, you can uh, use that affiliate code to get 10% off of uh, your purchase for any of these paint gem kits. Uh, because like I for one love the paint gem kits and I am super excited to uh, get any of the new releases because that's something that every time they come out with a new one, I'm like, I have to get it because I love them. Uh, so we're going to break into the summer edition and then we'll also do a quick look at the bakery edition so you guys can see what these look like. Uh, so I'm going to set this one off to the side and then we're going to get right into it. Uh, so I like to go through these and, um, and I love these as a nice little breather as I'm doing all the big ones and all their packaging too. And they kept, keep them right here. So this is a 39th kit that they've come out with. And this one has a 40 on it uh, right down here for the bakery edition. Uh, their packaging is phenomenal. It's adorable. Super cute. Uh, this is what you'll get inside the box. Uh, so you'll get your colors. Uh, and we're going to have some super cute, super bright summery colors here in the summer edition. You get your toolkit. I'm only going to show you the one toolkit. I'm not going to show you the toolkit over here. Bum, ba -dum. And uh, so it has everything that you need in a kit. Uh, you have a multi-placer, which I think is a 10-placer. And then you have a three-placer for here. So you have the 10-placer, three-placer. They are a wider uh, multi-placer. You have uh, a pad of uh, red wax. You have a uh, white boat uh, or tray to be able to use. You have your pen uh, with a single placer. You have the tweezers, a little plastic tweezers, which I've used. And then you have the squish, the squishy or the, um, yeah, the squishy to put on your pen to make it a little bit softer to use. Uh, and that's what you get in the toolkit. And that's pretty standard across all of the kits there and then you have your colors and this comes with 41 colors in the summer edition that you can see here and they have them listed here and when I kit up I usually for the paint gems uh, depending on whether I'm traveling or not if I'm traveling I'll just take uh, and I'll actually just use this as the, the legend and I won't even worry about putting it on the baggies or anything I'll just be like okay what do I need what color am I doing okay I'm gonna do a 3841 and I'll look for the bag that's labeled 3841 uh, so we will go ahead and I'm not going to call out every single DMC color for the paint gems, but I am going to pull them out so you can see what the colors look like. So they're kitted up into the baggies, uh, you can see here. So look at some of these colors. Oh, they're so vibrant. And these are all squares and they're going to be partials. Uh, some of them you're going to have more colors of than others, like the reds and the oranges. We have a fair amount of, and then we get down into this color here. Not a lot. And on the baggie, you're going to see it's going to be labeled uh, 1 through 41. And that's going to typically correspond. So the 10th one, 958, should be the 10th one on this list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 958. So it's going to correspond with this legend here is what number baggie you have here. So 10, 958. And the 1.4 is going to be the weight of the bag. So how many drill, so basically the weight. So 1.4, 1.3, that's the grams that you have in the bag. So it's gonna tell you how heavy your bag is. Like that one, we've got a lot of that color, not so many of some of these other colors as we come through here. Uh, and then some really lighter bags coming through. Love these greens, these 704, uh, the 702 and the 700, I think. 
like my car, the color of my car is somewhere similar between these two colors right here uh, is the color of my car. And then we come down with these lavenders, which are really adorable, or well, super pretty colors. Uh, and some of the tans for the sands are the BG colors that we're gonna have. And look at this tiny bag of 310. I love that, how little that bag of 310 is. These are the colors we're gonna have. And when I'm working on these for traveling purposes, I literally will take them, oh, and then the 40, 39 and 40 fell out of my hand apparently. So 39, 40, and then 41. So when I'm traveling, I will just take this entire thing just like this. Uh, sometimes I'll take it and I'll, so it's not so crunchy and squeaky sounding. Um, but for the most part, I just leave them right in this bag and then I'll just stand them up and I'll just go through them and I'll say, okay, I want that color, pull it out, line it up with here and I'll go to town. But those are our colors for the summer edition and they've even got it labeled mini number 39 summer. So you know, these are the drills that you have. This is your legend. If I'm not traveling, I'll actually kit these up because I know if I know I'm going to outwork on them slowly over the period of a month. Because my goal is usually to finish one uh, set of paint gym minis every month at a minimum. Um, and I'll kit them up and I'll work on them in the evenings after I've been working on one of my bigger sets. Because uh, each one of these individual canvases will take me about 30 to 45 minutes depending on the size of the canvas. Uh, so for the summer edition, we actually have 12 of these, uh, and I actually use the back of this. So when I'm traveling, I'll take and I'll cut this off and I'll use this and I'll stick it inside here because when I'm traveling, I don't take the entire box. I'll just throw this, this, this little legend in here because that takes up less space. I'll throw those all together because uh, I'll have my own tools and everything inside of whatever else uh, I'm taking with me or I'll throw a couple of these in one of the boxes if I'm gonna um, like which is what I um, will have done depending on when this video goes out will dictate whether I've already done my trip to Florida or not um, but as you can see here we have 12 designs as it says here I'm the person that has to go and order these are set out with a backwards order um, so you have this lovely, lovely sunset scene. I'm gonna try to not to be bumping onto my camera here. I'm gonna stand up so I can see a little bit better and without the glare for you guys. Look at that sunset beachy scene. That's gonna be beautiful colors. And then, hello summer. Ooh, I love summer. I don't love desert summer. I love Hawaii summer. Uh, so I wanna be back in Hawaii with my Hawaii summer the classic VW bus with the sun, with the palm tree and your surfboards, which to me screams like everything. I heart trip. So these will be perfect. And I'm taking these to uh, Florida with me. I'm gonna work, in these, you know, work on these in Florida when I'm visiting my parents. Uh, so that way I have some like snacky summer type stuff. Camping trip. So if you're going camping at all, so, cause it's not all beach type summer stuff. Cause some people don't have access to the beach. This is totally Hawaii. So you've got the mountains, you've got the palm trees, you've got the water, you've got the sun behind the mountains, sailing, oh, so much fun. And you get the little birds. Again, another a Hawaii summer. Look at that. And then we've got exactly what I want to be doing. Let me get my Makes me think of, you know, got your toes in the water, your butt in the sand. Oh, that's what I want to be doing right now. Be at the water, be at the beach. Lighthouse, you've got your your pineapple drink, you got a nice uh, hibiscus, being at the beach, and then you've got your flip-flops. Oh, beautiful. So, those are the summer edition with the 12 different scenes. Uh, for that and then I'll put the sticker sheet back right there and boom so that's our summer edition and I will put that back on later so that was summer 
Now we're gonna go into bakery. Bakery, I just couldn't pass up either because that one just looked too tempting. Uh, I love sweets and goodies and this one just looked too fun. So this particular kit is actually gonna have 16 different designs. And again, when I'm, uh, I, I cut out this portion right here, so that way I have the designs that I'm gonna do. So we have 16 designs in here. I'm not gonna go over the toolkit because it's gonna be the same exact toolkit as what we had before, uh, which is a basic toolkit. It does give you everything that you need, uh, which is fantastic. This is gonna have some beautiful pastel colors which will be perfect. So here are, is your legend that you have. And look at this, that it doesn't look, there are no three tens in this sticker sheet. Uh, so there is that. Uh, look at these colors, aren't those gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful pastels. Uh, I don't feel like there's a need to go through them. You can kind of see all of those colors in there. Look at those, all those shades of purple, all those shades of like aqua teals into those pinks. You're gonna have more of a shades of tan because you have to have more shades of tan. So you can see that right here, all these different shades of tan there. Uh, this one we're gonna, we'll take a little bit of close, I'll pick one of the canvases and we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at it so you can see what the symbols look like. I didn't do that on the summer edition and I just realized I didn't do that on the summer edition. So we will do that on this one so you guys can get a closer look at it. But there are going to be 16 different designs. Uh, what does one of the it's a super nitpicky thing but it just drives me bonkers is when you look at the number that they have right down here they label these 1 through 16 that does not line up with this and it drives me bonkers because this says design one is the baguette but here design 16 is the baguette and that's like a nitpicky thing but oh it's like they need to match up and they don't. So that just is a little super nitpicky, but it drives me bonkers. But here you have a baguette, uh, so fun. And then we have a purple frosted sprinkled donut. And you can see, as I bring it up, you can see how super clear all of those symbols are. Super easy to read. And I think it, like, I've had a, I know one of the issues I had with a previous kit one of the very, very early kits, like I think it was um, the National Parks, which was one of their first five kits that they came out with. It was tricky to read. Some of the purples were hard to distinguish. So you can see how easy those symbols are to read. So they've definitely improved on legibility and distinguishability between these different shades of purple. So that is awesome. And then I have no idea what type of, <laughs> uh, like what type of bakery item that one is, but it's some kind of bread product. Oh, those are cookies, okay. Sometimes when you look at it as just this, it's hard to see, but then once I stepped back and looked at it down here, I'm like, oh, that's a stack of chocolate chip cookies, okay. And then, oh, that one looks incredible. It's making me hungry, you guys, hungry, hungry, hungry. But the clarity, and then another kit, like I think on the same national parks, no, the rainbows that the purples were hard to see, and then on the national parks, I think some of the greens were really hard to distinguish with how they had done their symbols, but this is super crystal clear. So that's awesome that like some of the feedback that they've gotten from people that they've made some of those changes because I'm not seeing any symbols so far that are hard to distinguish. Uh, cinnamon roll, another fun donut, this one with reds and look at it. You can just see like it's sprinkled all over. Ugh. <sighs> I'm like getting hungry with these. These look so fantastic. And I love the simplicity of these. They turn out so fantastic. They look incredible when they're done and they're just so fun to do. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna be taking some paint gems. Uh, I think I'm probably, um, normally I like to go in order from like oldest to newest with my paint gems because otherwise I would just be doing like the newest ones that I get in. Oh look, some of the macarons. I think that's a macaron. I always get confused between the macaroons, macarons. I think these ones are the macarons. Those are so fun. Those are the same things that we get in like toolkits from other companies, but those are cute. Uh, a classic pink donut. It's like what you would get from uh, Krispy Kreme, the pink frosted donut from Krispy Kreme. Look. And then, ooh, an ice cream sundae. That sounds amazing right now. A piece of kick. And then the last one is 
an ice cream uh, cone with cherries on top. These are just spectacular. And like, look how easy it is to distinguish all of those different shades you see there, even down into the ice cream cone, up into here. Like those symbols are super clear. Like this is a big improvement over some of the earlier kits. And as you peel back, you can see you don't have a lot of overspray with the glue, a little tiny bit, like very, very fine amount there, like really good, strong adhesive. These are not double-sided plastic. So when you do peel this off, just be mindful if you take it all the way off, test it. If you're not gonna mark what side is the correct side, test it when you go to put it back down, test a tiny corner on the ed edge if you go to put it back down, just to verify that you're not uh, putting it on the wrong way because that's I've done that before and it's it's you're just like oh my gosh what did I do so this is the bakery set with the 16 different um, designs that you see here all super fun super adorable and they look so fun and cute when they're worked up and uh, whenever I finish one of these sets I do show you guys what they look like either in my month in review or I show you in like, uh, depending on how they, if I've done anything to it, I typically show you in, a, in my month in review, you'll see what the paint gems look like when they're all worked up. But that is the summer edition and the bakery edition. Uh, and yes, definitely check them out. They are super, super fun to do. They're a great break. These are like the one square canvas that I really do not mind doing at all as squares. Cause you guys know how I feel about squares. They all come in squares. I do not mind them. Like I don't like squares, but these squares, I don't mind at all. I'll, I'll gladly do these as squares. And I think it's because they're so small and they work up so quickly that they're fun to do. Uh, I've worked on, I've taken paint gems on the plane with me when I've traveled. Uh, I fly with them. I, I usually will throw in extra I'll take a nice uh, pen with me. I'll just grab a pen and take just a single pen with me and I'll throw it in like I will if I'm going in for like a week long trip or a longer trip, I'm not going to bring a larger canvas with me cuz that's too much of a hassle. So I'll take like two paint gem minis uh, with me. I'll throw them in the same box. I'll throw in a pen. I'll throw in uh basically I'll be like, "All right, I'm going to throw I'm just grabbing what I have on my desk." And I'll typically throw this, like this will be my kit that I throw in there with me. I'll upgrade a little bit and I'll say, okay, nice pen, uh, thing of uh, mud, a nice thing of wax and an upgraded tray. And I only ever use like the small tray is all I ever really need for it. I'll throw all of that in there and the pen in there. And that's what I will take with me, whether I'm using just one kit or if I'm taking two kits with me, all I need is one box to throw on the plane with me and I'm good. Uh, and that's all I need to do. So yes, that is like my go kit for traveling with a, a paint gem mini. That's all I need to do. Throw those items in with one of these and I'm, I'm golden. Um, and I'll consolidate down. I usually don't, I haven't typically traveled with the box. I'll typically throw those items in like a little zipper pouch and then go from there. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of these two uh, new uh, releases that they did for the month of August. Uh, I know this is probably going up a little bit later. I'm trying to, I'm filming it at the end of August, so we'll see when it gets up. Uh, but yes, uh, let me know if you guys have any, have done any paint gem minis. And if so, what is your favorite paint gem uh, set that you guys have completed? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.